Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So what I want to show you guys today is how to uh, use 3D stock, but to create 3D stock right on the fly for you guys inside of your SolidCam project. So first thing what you can do is go to the uh, insert component and click on new part. Now, once you click on new part, it's going to have a little green check mark, and that's asking you what plane do you want to work on. So we'll just click on that top plane. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I want to just get the outside perimeter. So for this, I can just do convert entities and click on that bottom surface and hit the green check mark. Now, from there, it's going to give me my outline of my part. And from here, what you guys can do is you guys can use whatever shapes that you want, or you can actually draw in a full custom stock as well. But what you guys can do is create your own 3D stock. So we're creating our, as this was cut to size, um, but maybe from a plasma cutter or whatnot. And um, we just need to machine the inside um, areas of it. So I just did a extrude up to uh, the surface, and then I can hit the green check mark, uh, check mark out of here. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a new part inside of the feature tree for us. So if we go over to the feature tree, and you'll see that it named that part four of iMachining. And what we can do now is we can make that part transparent so you guys can see through that part as well. And now you can kind of see our... 3D stock is in there and it's transparent and I can still click through that. So uh, to take it one step further to get it into the solid cam portion of it, uh, you just go and open up your stock and switch it over to 3D model and just click on that model that we've created and hit the green check mark. And now we have our 3D stock and we just do a show just to make sure here. And we have our 3D stock going all the way around. So like I said, this is a, a great option to add in stock. Um, that way you guys have a full 3D model of the stock as well. Um, you guys can create those shapes um, for w whatever you guys want to draw in there. Um, you know, on the specific one here, what we could have done too is since we're doing a plasma cut around the outside, <clears throat> we could have done the uh, offset entities as well and left a little bit of material for the plasma or for a finishing pass around the outside instead of having that plasma cut going around the outside. But just want to show you guys that for the tip of the day today. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow with your tip of the day. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.